Hey guys, happy Monday. Now today I actually said happy Monday and it makes sense because it is Monday. I've been kinds of like weird hair issues. Why? Because I put my cap on and I don't have um, a ponytail on. It's one of my favorite caps. Um, anyway, how was your weekend? Happy belated Easter. Ugh, water's so good. I'm, somebody actually caught me on one of my last videos. They were like, Kelly, was that a soda you were having a drink of? I'm not gonna lie. I've had some diet sodas here and there. Um, this is part of me, uh, you know, getting in touch with what I wanna do and how I wanna do it. And I, you guys know I totally quit soda and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like I missed having a soda occasionally. So I am having some diet sodas occasionally and that's what I'm cool with, and I'm cool with it. So um, I'm certainly not drinking it. When I was in college, you guys, seriously, I used to, my friend and I, I talk crooked. See, I'm always thinking that this is crooked here. Oh my God, I need to go tanning. Mr. Flo, I'm really feeling like I look tan. I mean, not tan enough, sorry. And yet, my nose looks like it's fried. Anyway, I haven't gone tanning in ages. I've just been busy and haven't gotten out there. Um, now I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Water, working out, whatever. I'll remember it later. <clears throat> um, pisses me off when I do that. I literally have the sharpest memory long term, but short term, it's just gone. Once I say it, it's gone, and I need like a guy. Amy just has to hang around me all the time and go, this is what you're talking about, or I need someone to just stand around me and take notes. Anyway, I wanted to let you guys know. So, um, I had a good weekend. It just, this was one of those weekends. Was I out of town last week? Um, it was just busy. It was busy all weekend. Um, had some meetings on Friday, and then I went over and was helping some kids decorate Easter eggs, which I forgot how funny that is. Um, and then I was babysitting Friday night. Saturday, what did we do Saturday? Saturday was running around because I knew that we were getting together with my family. Um, on Sunday to celebrate Easter and then we kind of do this group birthdays um, celebration so we were all what song is that oh um, so I had to go you know do a bunch of shopping and and you know how the day can just get away from you and then by the time I got home it was like I don't even know and then got up yesterday um, had to get ready had to wrap some presents had to head over to the country club um, we had this, I gotta tell you guys, we go to my brother's country club and they have this huge, huge brunch buffet, especially like on Easter. There's like tables and tables of eggs benedict and waffles and homemade omelets and I mean everything you can possibly imagine, roast beef, prime rib, ham, whatever. And honestly, I the only thing I had was two small little eggs benedict, that was it, which you know, Believe me, that's caloric enough. Um, but I just, I didn't really have any of that desire to like go, hey, I've got to pick out on this whole, you know, buffet and eat it up. This is a cheat day. I just, I'm not looking at, at food or food situations or food opportunities like that. It's like, this is what I felt like having and that's what I had. Um, and then I did some yoga last night. What did I have for dinner? I don't remember. I told you, short term memory. But I did want to tell you guys, I'm reading um, a really good book because I actually, it's funny, I had discovered this girl's blog. Her name is um, Charlotte Hilton Anderson. I'm trying to think of who told me about her. I think from one blog to another, I had discovered her and she had done like a write up on some different, you know, that she would, she would try a certain, I don't want to say diet or workout program, but whatever, you know, it could be a book like the body for life approach. And she'd try that for a month and then she'd try, um, CrossFit for a month or whatever. So this was on her blog. And then I think this book just came out. Um, so it's basically her chronicling. Yeah. This just came out in 2011. Um, so she's, I just started it, but she talks about, so she takes one month of doing each one of these January. She did functional training. Uh, February, she did double cardio, which I'm going to talk about in a second. Um, chapter three, I'm not on this yet. CrossFit, then she did celebrity workout, action hero workout, Jillian Mike. I probably heard about this through Valerie Waters. Jillian Michaels, Primal Blueprint, Suspension Training, which is TRX, Kettlebells, um, High Intensity Interval Training, Going Vegan, Karate, and then the conclusion is what I yeared. <laughs> what I yeared. Good boy. What I learned after one year of trying everything. The funny thing is, last night I read, 
um, the one on double cardio. And it's funny, you guys, because so much of what she was talking about reminded me of kind of the first part of what I was able to see about what I've done wrong um, the past two years. Remember? I told you that I've just, the past two years, everything's been so different with me. I was working so hard to try to make, um, you know, changes in my body because my body, you know, had changed so abruptly with perimenopause and all of that. So I was trying so hard to immediately fix it. And I kept thinking for the past two years, I kept thinking for the past two years that, you know, more is better. So instead of working out, you know, four to six days a week, I'd want to work out two times a day, four to six days a week. And then, and then, you know, trying to really limit my eating um, and, and just going to extremes. And essentially, you guys, for over the past two years, now, it's not like every week, every day, I was working out six days a week, two, three hours a day. I can't say that. What I'm saying is that over the past two years, when, and if you go and you look at my blog for the past two years, you know, you'd see evidence of this. You'd see that I was like, well, I, you know, I burned 1,200 calories. And people that were following my polar, right, when I was recording that, they would see that some of my workouts were 800, 900, 1,200 calories. And then, you know, I'm trying to consume 1,200 calories. Okay, think about that. And I remember it was when I was talking to my friend Joe that he was like, you, do you even realize what you're doing? Like you're basically setting your body up to freak out. But in my mind, that was not the truth because in my mind, I'm like, I've got to lose 20 pounds. How am I going to lose 20 pounds? I've got to work, 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 work out. And I've got to diet, 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 diet. And when you go to so many extremes, it, it, it's not going to work. What she talks about in the double cardio, which she said was the least effective of anything, was that when you do that much cardio, you're creating, and when, you, when you're working out so much, you're automatically going to be hungrier. And I think we can all um, testify to that fact. Think about it, when you're working out more, like when Amy first started running more, and a lot of, if you follow a lot of runners, they have an increased appetite. And most of them, because they're running a lot, they will eat more, and so it balances themselves out. What, what happens with a lot of psycho dieters, former psycho dieters, is that we want to accomplish something, so we want to lose weight, whether it's after a baby, or in my case, you know, hormonal imbalance, body changes, or maybe you've just gained weight for whatever reason, right? And you want to fix it, so you go extreme, okay? And maybe it might sound like, well, she's working out, she's doing weight, she's doing cardio, she's eating healthy, you know, that's cool. But at the end of the day, what I was doing the past two years is a whole lot of extremes in too many ways. You know, really restrictive dieting, going above and beyond. So if I was doing like Valerie Waters workout and she said, you know, do this, three sets, I do five sets. You know, and then I'm so hungry because I worked out so hard and burned 800 or 1200 calories and yet I felt like I could only really eat 1300 or 1500 calories because that's what I thought. That's the only way I'm gonna lose weight. So I was always hungry and always fighting this thing at the end of the day, like I'm hungry, my stomach's growling, I feel like I need to eat. And then I'd ask you know, everybody to tell me, what should I do? And half the people would say, your body's hungry, you should eat, you should listen to your body. And then half the other people were like, no, you've gotta get used to being hungry, that's how you're gonna lose weight. And so I kept vacillating between the two, like having no idea. So for two days I'd do that, for two, and then I'd feel bad if I did eat too much. So one night I'd go, well, my body's hungry, I'm gonna eat. And then I'd talk to somebody, whether it was Jay, my trainer, or Jenny Lynn, or somebody, and they're like, no, you can't do that, you need to not eat. So then I'd punish myself, or I'd go and I'd buy Krispy Kreme donuts and get pissed off. You know, and he's just kept not finding a reasonable way, which is what I used to do, which is what I'm getting back to now. I could not find a reasonable way to just work out and eat healthy like a normal person and make this a part of my life instead of, excuse me, making my life try to fit around this workout insanity. And she talks a lot about this in the book. Have I showed you guys the title? Um, and, and in this, this chapter, I might put a few quotes below, you know, she basically says that like doing double cardio, which to, in her mind was like two to three hours of cardio a day, she lost like negative, she hardly lost any weight because, um, and compared to everything else. And she even says in the first chapter, let me see if, how much time do I have left? In the first chapter, she's basically saying that, um, hold on, what is she, you know, it's kind of like giving a preview of what she's gonna say towards the end. 
Um, somebody asked the question, what workout will help me drop weight the fastest? She says, none of them. Here's a little told truth in the fitness industry. Ex exercise makes you hungry. Don't get me wrong, I'm not telling you to quit exercising. It's good for you on so many levels. Everything from your mind to your mood, blah, blah, blah. Most professionals I've talked to, excuse me, most professionals I've talked to say weight loss is about 70% nutrition and 30% exercise. For me, those proportions are closer to 85-15. It takes me five minutes to eat a baggie of jelly beans, but an hour of kick kickboxing to burn those suckers off. Do the math and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, that if you watch what you eat, excuse me, watch what you eat will give you the scale results a lot faster than exercise alone. Don't drop the exercise, but at the same time, don't kid yourself that just because you did an hour of spin class, you can eat whatever you want. Um, she said, and then I'm trying to think. Um, it said, what fitness program gets me the biggest results in the shortest amount of time? She said, anything with a lot of high intensity interval training combined with very heavy weight lifting, which um, that's pretty much what I had read and what I'm focusing on um, in my future, which is what I like, you know. I do still, I'm not going to like give up cardio because I love, frankly, I mean, I love doing workout like insanity. I love doing kickboxing. Um, but will I ever do just like full insanity where it's nothing but crazy high intensity, you know, not necessarily long term. Some of those insanity workouts are like half an hour, but I'm never going to do just cardio, period. And while I like to run and I love to run, I don't want to do just running. That's just not me. I so much like all of this other stuff. And I just think it's really important. I got to cut this off um, to realize with working out and especially with cardio, not necessarily just especially with cardio, but when you go to the extremes, you can't diet to extremes and work out to extremes. It's almost just as bad, I, I've seen this, as eating too much and not working out at all. Um, you've got to find a healthy balance or you're just not going to move the needle in any way. I've certainly seen that. I mean, the past two years, um, I haven't gained weight. I've either, you know, I maybe lose five, now that I have a scale, I would think I'd lo lose five pounds, gain two, lose seven, maybe six, gain three. I've just been floating around the same area. I've built up great muscle tone, right? Okay, so as I'm starting to lose fat and lose weight now, pretty damn excited about what it's going to look like. But I just was so excessive, one extreme or the other, and then kind of up and down and off. I mean, and that's because I wasn't finding a happy medium. Nothing was a happy medium. It was too much. It was too extreme. And I'm so glad that I'm seeing it now and seeing it clearly and sensibly. Sensibly. Am I saying that right? <sighs> On that note, I've got to go get my workout in, my short, reasonable workout, under an hour. Everything is under an hour. That's what I'm focusing on. And um, eating reasonably. And I have a massage tonight, so I'm a happy girl. You guys have a great Monday, and I will talk to you manana.